प्रीति जी फ्रॉम चंडीगढ़ राधे राधे गुरु जी गुरुदेव इफ समन रिलेटेड बिट्रेज आज अवर हार्ट इज फिल्ड विद बिटरनेस एंड वी हैव नेगेटिव फीलिंग्स अबाउट देम If somebody betrays us it is because we have betrayed them in the past this is for sure do not doubt these words because if we have not done any bad karmas then nobody can do anything bad to us that is why it is said that we should improve our own karmas apne karmo ko sudharo ko na kahu ke sukh dukh kar data nij krit karm bhog sun bhata no one gives us any happiness or distress the jeeva has to bear the results of his own karmas we are being betrayed in the present but we have forgotten the past in the past we had betrayed that person that is why he is betraying us now that is for sure we have come here to repay our debt so clear it up chant the holy name and get liberated now if you criticize a person if you react towards it then that creates new sanskaras that we will have to bear the result for without doing bad karmas nobody can trouble us this is for sure now we don't have knowledge do you might say they're just giving an answer to placate us but that is because you don't have the knowledge now let's just look at this present life we have been in the mother's womb for 9 months how much do you remember so how much is our memory forget about the past lives we have all stayed in our mother's womb for 9 months and we don't remember anything we don't remember how the situation was how difficult the situation was in the mother's womb we were between the organs of urine and stool like a worm the organs of urine and stool are closed that is how we were born but do we remember even a second of it do you remember even a second of what happened in the mother's womb then how can you remember the past if you cannot even remember the present life so it is for sure that without our own bad karmas nobody can trouble us and say somebody had a child a son and he had such a great personality that his every action gave his parents so much joy and there's another one who starts to give trouble right from his birth he destroys all our wealth and makes a parent's life hell one came to use up our bad karmas and therefore was giving us trouble one after the other and another came to reward us for our virtuous karmas and by his every action the heart of the parents is filled with joy because you did not create the child every wants that the child should give them happiness your karmas created the child some children are born that have an illness since birth they destroy the parents wealth millions of rupees and then they pass away so your wealth was destroyed and the child is gone that person had come to recover their debt and one came who started earning since childhood and gave his parents a lot of comforts he had come to repay his debt believe my words this is from a spiritual perspective nobody can give another person happiness or distress we have just come here to bear the results of our karmas we should tolerate the results of our karmas chant the holy name and sow a nice future crop we should try and give happiness to others we have been dishonest in the past and that is why somebody is betraying us now whose question is it kyun kiska prashn tha mara ji they are saying they feel very good if someone who has betrayed them faces problems and think it's good that god has punished them nahi no it is their own karma it is not because they did bad to you that they're getting punished it is not like that they are being punished for what they did to you you do not get the results of your karma is right away On the other hand you see people who are spreading so much terror committing so many sins are evil and they seem to be happy it is not that you get the results of your karmas right away even when a farmer sows a crop he has to wait for a few months for the crops to grow 4 5 mahina lagta hai bhaiya if somebody commits a crime murders somebody it takes a few months for him to get punished by the judge This is a government's process. Now someone did something bad to you and they have an accident or they fractured their foot and you think this is a repayment for what they did to you. No, no. This is their own karma. You are bearing the results of your karmas and he's bearing the results of his karmas. Should they not have these feelings? Will it obstruct their spiritual progress? This obstructs our spiritual path. If somebody creates problems for us, gives us trouble, then we should pray to the Lord, "Oh Lord, Please purify his intelligence 
make things auspicious for him you are the storehouse of auspiciousness he may benefit or not benefit but things will become auspicious for you if you feel good thinking oh look he's getting punished then whatever happens to him happens but you will also have to suffer people don't understand these things they are spiritual matters the person gets happiness when the other person gets in trouble but your consciousness is getting spoiled you have negative thoughts with the other person this will cause you trouble in the future therefore we have to be very careful we have come here to get liberated we will not take a debt from anybody and we will not give a loan to anybody we will not have animosity towards anybody we will not have friendship towards anybody we will protect ourselves and we will get liberated but these karmas keep trapping the jiva in the cycle of life and death punarapi jananam punarapi maranam punarapi janani jathare sainam remember there is only one at play here there is no second the problem will only be resolved if you remember this one key thing there is only one there is no second eko brahma dutiyo nasti it is only him only him only him it is only parmatma who is interacting with us it is because of the karmas that we have done in the past that we have to bear the results and because of that parmatma has taken these various forms believe my words it is only him and he is very merciful everything he does is for our ultimate benefit we should not have negative thoughts and wish ill for the other person because we will only be praying ill for our own lord our lord is residing in the heart of the other person our parmatma is residing there see if the lord leaves a body the body is useless so that means we're wishing ill for our own lord he should suffer he should suffer no a devotee is not like this how can we worship the lord this way if we wish ill for others when the lord was pleased with prahlad maharaj he had a little sorrow in his heart he was feeling bad for his father he asked my father was inimical to you and he killed you but will he get any spiritual benefit will he be uplifted the lord said the lord said the person who has a child like you if he had 21 generations they would be uplifted what to say of him but there were no 21 generations as yet because this is close to the starting of creation and hirinikashyap was an associate of the lord himself but see prahlad maharaj had in his heart will my father benefit will he be uplifted because he was inimical to the lord this is how a devotee is the devotee even prays for the benefit of one who's inimical to them so when prahlad maharaj met the lord what did he ask he asked will my father be uplifted mere pita ka kalyan hoga ki nahi because he was inimical to you He said with a child like you he will definitely be uplifted the lord was wearing a garland of intestines of hiranyakashyap so it was as if prahlad maharaj asked in his mind what is this the lord said grains were digested in these intestines which created semen which gave birth to you lord nishangadev had a very terrible form he had torn open the stomach of hiranyakashyap and was wearing the intestines the lord was honoring the intestines because from these intestines a devotee was born and that is why he was wearing them but see the nature of a devotee even the one who has put him through so much he's praying to the lord for their benefit he's asking the lord and his mood was that my father should benefit please help him so we have to follow in the footsteps of our seniors and our gurus ki jo hamara apman karat je ansahan nindak tino upay anugrah kare Oh Lord, may he never face any trouble. Yes, he has made a mistake, but please purify his intelligence. You are the greatest. You are the ocean of intelligence. Please forgive him. This is the nature of devotees. That is why the Lord is subjugate to his devotees. It is not that the devotees pray ill for anybody. They tolerate trouble themselves. When devotees see others in trouble, it troubles their heart. Shloka, oh why did he have to face any trouble? so we should not be happy looking at anybody else's trouble this is not the nature of a sadhu or a devotee we should feel unhappy if somebody else is unhappy and right away we should try and think of a solution to alleviate somebody else's problems but we say we don't have any capability ourselves so we pray to the lord please help him this is how the nature of a devotee should be